Hey, Mom. Hi, Max. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Say, uh, say, say, what's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. What's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. This is Max's mom and Max's stepmom, or Max's bonus dad, as we like to say. He's called Joe, my stepmom. <gasps> Stepdad. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, I had a glass of wine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we making here? Um, I am cooking an Italian sausage and. Uh, turkey, ground turkey and onions. So we're making lasagna. Spaghetti. I'm making the sauce for lasagna. I don't know if you guys know this, but my mom, my mom actually invented lasagna. It's a long story, I don't have time to explain it to you. But over here, they're watching a movie. We have my brother Chase and my sister-in-law May. We, uh, we literally just were like, hey Alexa, play a movie with an actress that looks like Max's future wife, and then Gal Gadot with Wonder Woman came up, so that's pretty cool. So, just enjoying some time with family, eating a lot of food, I've worked out in three days. Mother literally uh, yesterday was like, Max, did you stop working out? Why do you say that? <laughs> because your arms just look small. <laughs> <laughs> they look the same as they always have, Mother. Dinner is ready, and I'm gonna be sophisticated and drink some Alamos Cabernet Sauvignon from the Mendoza, Argentina. Where is that in the States? Oh, 2018, good year. Mmm. Mmm. How much do you pour? Not a That's good. That's it? Yeah. So that, where that, yeah. Mmm. Uh, I can taste the tannins. It's got an earthy tone. Thankful for family. Thankful for food. But That's most nice of skin. all, thankful for dude. <laughs> what? I was joking. I just wanted to rhyme. So we're having a uh, family drinking thing where everyone makes a beverage, and then we see who made the best one. I already made a mango margarita, so I've already won. I don't know why they're still going, but what are you making, Mom? I am making a dark Use chocolate. Using instructions? You gotta dark make your chocolate. own. You can't go up another recipe. That's the whole point. It is her. She wrote the recipe. That's your recipe. That's her recipe. This is tearing our family I, apart. I made it. Okay, so. All right, I, it doesn't matter. What, what, are you, what are you making? I am making a, a chocolate peppermint martini. Ooh. This is marshmallow topping. So you, you melt I love the marshmallow his music. topping. You dip the rim in the marshmallow topping, and then I crushed peppermints, and then you do it in that, drizzle them, and then uh -huh. I have to put these in the freezer for a few minutes. What's the alcohol? I'm gonna make that, but right now these need to chill. You need to chill. Is he gonna mess Merry up the... Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You so everybody just here and those it. that aren't with us. You don't like it? No, you do. Twist it, bop it, crank it. <laughs> Look what I do in my private time is up to me. <laughs> 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 this makes me want to bite the rim, but it, and like I'm gonna eat glass, is not what I do. Yeah, because you're supposed to use Sunday topping. What is that, marshmallow cream? Just a little more liquid. <laughs> Max looks like he's gonna throw up. Ooh, it's not liquid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know if I like that. It's good, but it is potent. And vodka. You're right. Vanilla vodka. Whoa. Max, Whoa. why'd you chug it? <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive. Okay. It's a sugar cookie martini, but in a shooter glass. I'm gonna, do it, I'm gonna do it like what the, what the girls do at the bars. They're like. I <laughs> <laughs> was better than mom's, to be honest. <laughs> Mother! Yes! So I didn't film that much because we were just kind of hanging out as a fam. I thought and... it was because you were embarrassed of us. What? Yeah. <laughs> Can you stop? We literally just watched movies and drank a lot of like. Christmas themed stuff and ate a lot of delicious food and caught up. Mom, I think there's something that the people need to know. Yes. Where did my name come from? And and do I actually have two X's in my name? You have two X's in your name. Is it short for anything? No. Max. Just Max. And where did Max and my middle name is Colton, by the way. Yes. Where so your father and I were deciding between Raleigh, Houston, Austin, Dallas, Where you and live? Dakota. No, for your name. <laughs> Raleigh? <laughs> yes. What? I, 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 heard, I knew Dakota, Dakota and Dallas. Yes. Raleigh, Dakota, Dallas, Hey y'all, Dallas here. Welcome to a new video. And Denver, I think. So. Why anyway, was I named after? We just liked those names. That's and weird. then you were born and we couldn't decide. And then your dad says, I don't think I like any of those names. And I'm like, what? So we went home and about three days later, I called the hospital to see 
how long we had before we had to sign the birth certificate and name you. And the lady said, oh, but your son already has a name. And I said, what? <laughs> oh, yes, and, and your birth certificates, his birth certificate's all signed. And I said, well, then can you tell me what my son's name is, please? She goes, oh, it's Max Colton. And I just said, thank you very much. So, so dad to... named me without asking you permission? Yes. Typical man just doing whatever they want. So rude. <laughs> Yes. Well, to be honest, I think I have like the coolest name ever. Well, I liked it because when I was mad at you, I only had to say Max, not Max Colton. Where did Colton come from? I don't know, but at the time, the two hot stars in the soap operas, there was Max on one and Colton on the other. And now there's I think just it was a like General Hospital, One Life to Live. There was a Max on one, Colton on the other. They were and so everybody thought you were named after soap opera stars. From a hot soap opera star to a mediocre YouTube guy. Yes. The Max Colton story. Now you know. Okay. See you later. Okay, so it was really good seeing the family. I think next year they want to blah, blah, blah. they want to do a destination Christmas outside of the country, but they don't want to go anywhere tropical. They want to go somewhere like for a winter wonderland. I'm like, who leaves the country for Christmas to go somewhere cold? Like, why does no one want to do tropical? All I want to do is sip mango margaritas and ride jet skis 24-7. Is that such a bad thing, dude? I don't think so. Dude's coming with me, by the way. He's gonna be my plus one. I because the chances of us finding a relationship. Before next Christmas, it's not looking good for us. By the way, this pizza is lukewarm at best. At what point do you complain to Domino's or like the delivery service and be like, hey, this pizza is like cold? It's not cold, but it's like, I expect the pizza to be hot when I get it, and this is like lukewarm at best. But we are going to watch Wonder Woman 1984. I tried watching it the other night, I fell asleep. People say that it's terrible, but Gal Gadot is, she's worth it. So uh, movie review coming in three, two, one. Okay, so uh, it wasn't bad, but I wouldn't say that it was good. Um, I don't know, maybe like a six and a half out of 10. I said TV off. The whole premise of the movie is that uh, basically People can, you can like make a wish, and if you wish for something, then you get it, but you have to give up like the thing that makes you you. So, I mean, like, if I was to like touch the little stone thing and be like, I wish that I was in a relationship with a, a wonderful, mature girl who would never ever get in an argument with me ever. Um, I don't know if I could do that because then I'd have to give up what makes me me, like my really good looks and amazing humor, you know? I'll have to think about it. I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah. Oh man, dude, I'm totally glad that the road is all done. Now I can go to the beach with my bros and pick up some babes. Oh, to be honest, I'm feeling a little thirsty. Hey, yo, Chad, what's that drink you always have, like a hard seltz? Can you throw me one of those, bro? Oh, yeah, sick. Oh. Dude, Chad, this tastes like crap, man. You drink this? <laughs> this literally is called crap hard seltzer. You had this all the time, bro? <sighs> Dude, Chad, I am not drinking this, man. Dude, all hard seltzer just tastes like crap, man. Why can't there be a good one out there? What's that, Chad? You have another one you want me to try? Dude, sell to me again, bro. Need something delicious. Oh, no way, Chad! A Vizzy Hard Seltzer? Dude, I've heard about these, man. They're the new hard seltzer on the block with four amazingly bold and refreshing flavors made with antioxidant vitamin C from acerola cherries, which is a super fruit for a super dude. Oh, I can't wait to crack this bad boy open. Thanks for sponsoring the video, Vizzy. Oh my god! Dude, chat, this might be the best hard seltzer that I've ever had in my entire life. I gotta get everyone to upgrade from their hard seltzer to Vizzy. Assuming you're 21 or older and can enjoy it responsibly, maybe you should check out the first link in the description. We'll have a store locator. You can find where Vizzy is sold near you. What's that, girls? Oh, you want some Vizzy too? Okay, I'll grab someone coming out with you guys. All right, hey, well, Jay, chill. There's enough of me to go around. All right, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Oh, man! Just to get scared, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna try again. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Man, that dream, although kind of weird, pretty refreshing. What do you think, dude? <laughs> yep, you don't care? Okay. Well, today is very important because we are going to the dermatologist. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to explain. And you should probably go if you have skin, which I think most of you do. So a dermatologist is a doctor who specializes in conditions involving the skin, hair, and nails. A dermatologist can identify and treat more than 3,000 conditions unless you don't hit the thumbs up button on Max Tuning's YouTube videos. Aha! But on a serious note, if you're like myself and you have a lot of moles all over your body, then you want to go to the dermatologist like twice a year to get them checked out because skin cancer is a real thing. And I have moles literally everywhere. You could chop them up and make guacamole with them. They're on my stomach, on my arms, on my back. They're on my like face. My mom, when I was a kid, she was like, those are angel kisses, Max. Or maybe she was talking about my freckles. I don't know, she's a really nice lady. Rivals, I will tear the behinds out of rivals, even your idols. I don't care, it's music to be murdered by, so Bonnie Bear can swallow a fucking gyro, bubble head, and I slow bone sniper. I hold the microphone like a loaded rifle. My dome's brighter, all I spit from my skull's fire, all it's missing is more. Okay, guys, Eminem is the, the greatest, and this new uh, music to be murdered by side B is so good. Eminem is definitely someone that I would fangirl over if I met. It's like the one person that I really, really want to meet. I don't know what I would say to him. I'd be like, why are you so angry? <laughs> I love it, but just, <laughs> I don't know. You know, Christian sends Haley, his daughter, Alphalete. She like follows him on Instagram and he's like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm like, pretty cool. Like, you don't even, you don't even realize it, man. Like Eminem might have seen Alphalete. Like, why won't he take my candy? All right, wish me luck. Well, actually, I realize you guys cannot come with me, so you're gonna stay in the car. All right, so we got uh, a couple skin tags removed. I had some like under my arms, so they like scraped them off and used like a little sprayer thing. And then I have apparently two moles, one right here, and then I don't know if you can see like the, the Band-Aid uh, right here that were funky looking, he said. So he scraped some of them off to send to the lab, and then, you know, hopefully they come back. Uh, with no issues, but if there is an issue, then they have to do something similar. He apparently said that the scar for this is like way too big. So <laughs> apparently whoever did this one just butchered me up. But if there's anything wrong with these ones, then they'll have to go and like cut a little section out. But you know, it's better to go and get them checked out than to let, you know, things get out of hand. So here is Dermatology uh, Supportive Max telling you to get your moles checked out, dude. So the entire afternoon was spent making that little Vizzy promo. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but I figured I'm not gonna go to the gym today because I just got out of surgery and you know, if the belt goes right there, it might rupture that like this one is. Check this out, look at this. It's like starting to bleed a little bit. I'm just gonna take the Band-Aid off. <gasps> oh, look at that. It looks like I got shot. Is that, is that gonna bleed? There's like a hole in my... <gasps> Hey man, I'm gonna go get some sushi, okay? I love you, I'm gonna miss you. Does anyone else's dog, like, it's like as soon as you're not playing with them, they look like the most deprived from attention animal on this planet. Why do you look so sad, dude? You live the coolest life, man. I'm just going to get some sushi, you can't come with me, okay? I love you. I love you. Tell you what I think my biggest vlog is, baby. I try to be consistent. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Oh, dude, Audi gang, bro. Audi gang. Joe, what are you thankful for in 2020? And then what do you want to change going into 2021? Maybe be nicer in 2021? Nah, fuck them. Okay. The best thing to get at sushi restaurants, spicy tuna with crunch, and then you get eel sauce on the side. Normally I'm not a big fan of like seafood, and eel sauce is literally just like ground up eel, but if you don't know it, won't hurt you. Mm. How many times can you make that joke? Huh? Every How many time. times can Every you make time. that joke and people are still I've been making the same joke for like five years and in no way is that depressing. Hold on everyone, I just started getting interested in Bitcoin and Joe is gonna explain how they mine Bitcoins and I thought you guys should know this. Okay, go ahead. As if we're all a bunch of golden doodles. 
Not how, but why. Okay. Back in the day, okay, it was very common for people to buy, Bitcoins were worth like fractions of a cent. So they would use them as a digital way to pay somebody for a process. So when someone says they're mining something, they have their computers automatically doing a task. And that task is worth X amount of money. So like a mathematical equation. Anything, yeah. Like a science lab potentially could put out like, hey, we need someone to solve this and we'll give out X amount of Bitcoin for that. And you could have 800 GPUs on the server farm going and doing different tasks all over the internet all day and each one's just getting like fractions of a cent. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man, did you miss me? Hello, I missed you. Do you want to go for a walk? Hello, I love you. Hello. Okay, so I am going to wrap up the video here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you could just take two seconds and hit the thumbs up button because this is the last video. This is the last chance you can hit a thumbs up button on a new video in 2020. I'll see you guys next year. It's going to be filled with sick videos. Uh, this will, that'll, we'll be going into the eighth year of making YouTube content. That's a long time. And some people have been watching me since day one. I don't think there's that many people. Please leave a comment down below if you've been watching since, like, me putting protein behind my TV, since Trap House days. I wanna see how many people have been watching my, my weird life unfold since the Trap House days. And if you don't know what the Trap House days are, then you haven't been following long enough. Thank you guys for tuning in. Eat more sour strips and ever forward, I'll see you next year, dude! Can you say bye? That's kind of rude. Woof!